Okay, more chanterelles here. I'll make sure that is one because it's a different color. The only kind of mushrooms here, yeah, that's a chanterelle. Hopefully you can see them on the landscape. They're orange colored. And I'm about an hour and a half out of way from the city, so it's kind of interesting how you can find these kind of mushrooms way outside of the city. See, there's some big ones there. There's some there. So, and I got a late start today, so I may have to come back. What I came out here for, chanterelles. There's some young ones coming up over there. Once you see one, you will see a bunch. There it is. Notice the ridge line, the color, their regularity, where they're growing on the ground. So there's some chanterelles here. So I'll pick a few of these. So here's the uh, official harvest on today's um, outing, short notice. In about an hour and a half or so, I caught this, they got this much. Um, there's a few mushrooms I didn't, I couldn't identify, I don't know what this is. I'm going to do a spore print and try to find out what that is, because there were a lot of these. Don't know if it's edible or useful or not, but I'm gonna separate this. Um, there's a couple of other mushrooms in here that I harvested that were peculiar and interesting, possibly edible. Like this looks like a coral mushroom here. Um, I'm gonna wash this off and try to track down some identification for this. Don't know. Um, but I'm definitely not going to eat it first. Um, but the rest of these are chanterelles. And uh, this is uh, mid-August in Zone 4. Uh, basically in Minnesota. And uh, this was just an hour, hour and a half worth of work. And they're quite bright orange. Or... Uh, yellow orange and uh, you can kind of see how the ridges go down the stem and they're not really gills they're ridges and you can see how the rim is really um, kind of not uniform but Depending on which one you pick up, it's it's different. And they're like fingerprints. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash these off thoroughly because there's a lot of crap and leaves that I just grabbed and stuff. And uh, there's going to be bugs and stuff like that that I'm going to have to wash off and clean off. Um, and then we'll um, process these. But chanterelles. Okay. I've taken a few of these I'm gonna have to thoroughly process them but I've I've taken the water and kind of washed off the cap and there's the stem and then I've cut away kind of the stem or the bulb part of it um, the younger ones tend not to be too buggy there's no bugs in them necessarily this is a decent size one that's been cut off you can't you know you can usually see that the bugs have burrowed through. Um, this is pretty good. And then you can take this and you can split them in half and you can investigate and see if they're buggy or not. These are really, really good so far. Um, so I've got a pot over here with a little bit of oil, uh, butter in that. Getting dark in there. So I'm gonna just toss those in here. When I talk about buggy, this is kind of what you might come across and you can kind of see that 
you know, some bugs have kind of burrowed up in it, you know, or down it. And sometimes you will find these kind of older mushrooms or chanterelles and whatever bug kind of burrows down and is eating its way towards the, the root. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't use it or eat it. It's just that um, you might want to cut away those parts. Otherwise, it's just extra protein. Okay, I've, I've washed these and kind of cut them down. And I've got a little bit of oil going on, or rather butter going on in the hot pan. And we're just going to sear them. Okay, you never eat wild, raw mushrooms. Just don't do it. Um, that's kind of a rule of thumb. You always cook them. I know that you can go to the grocery store and buy um, mushrooms that you can cut raw into your salads and stuff like that. Um, they're different. They're but the button mushroom species. Um, I guess you know they harvest, they cultivate them that way. But these are wild harvested. You don't want to eat these raw. Never eat wild mushrooms raw. So we're gonna saute them right quick. Good smelling there. They kind of soak up the butter pretty good. You can always add garlic and a little bit of salt if you want to. I kind of like the natural flavor of things. They're not always going to have their own water in there. A little bit of salt. You can always add garlic and wine, but I kind of like the natural flavors of wild foods, so butter can be just enough. Chanterelles um, take really well to freezing or slicing up and drying. Uh, you can keep them in the fridge for a little bit after you've cleaned and washed them for a while. Um, but you know, I wouldn't put keep leave them in the refrigerator longer than you would normal store bought mushrooms. Otherwise, they'll go soft and moldy. And after all the hard work of finding them, 
and they are a yearly bounty um, I don't think you'd want to do that so best way to do that uh, or to preserve the chanterelles is to um, dry them out if you're not going to use them right away or cook them fresh there you have it so this is today's bounty uh, chanterelles just sauteed in um, their own juices and butter and salt a little bit of salt sea salt um, you can put garlic in it or salt and pepper it's a real buttery texture they have an apricot aroma or flavor they're very thick uh, in texture and density um, so they kind of take up um, that's one of the reasons why I like mushrooms that they like to take up the flavor of whatever they're 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 cooked in I like them straight up um, chanterelles specifically and um, mm, they're really good um, I don't know what to say other than you know this was a little bit more of work today um, had a busy day today and had to travel a, an hour and a half out of the city um, to get to them and then an hour and a half back <laughs> so it's a little late at night right now but um, they're out right about now uh, mid July or uh, excuse me August mid August and um, it's kind of one of my favorite mushrooms so Mm. We have it, Chanterelles. Mm. 